Enjoy your flow and remember to focus on clearing your mind and the movements in your body. Get into a seated position with your bum resting on your feet. Close your eyes and take a deep breath in. You can put your hands palm down on your thighs to ground yourself or up to receive. You do not have to be still. Gracefully move your body around. Loosen yourself up. Get ready for this practice. Shake it out. Take a deep breath in as you lift your hands up overhead. Bring your hands into prayer position. Exhale. Allow your prayer hands to come in alignment with your heart and throat chakra. Just set an intention right here and thank yourself in advance for showing up. One more time, inhale, bring your arms up over your head into prayer position. Exhale and gently place your hands on your thighs. This will be our first pose of our flow. If any thoughts come across your mind, just allow them to come and go. Let them go, return back to your breath and relax into your highest self. Gently come out of your pose into all fours. Tap your feet out and take a moment to get yourself into a kneeling position. Stretch your toes out, stretch your arms out, stretch your wrists out, give them some circular motions. If this is too intense on your toes, you can get into a regular kneeling position with the tops of your feet face down on your mat. Give your body another shake if need be and get into an all fours position. Tap your feet out, tops of your feet, and make sure that your hips are aligned with your knees and your shoulders are aligned with your palms. Take a deep breath in into cow pose. Hold here. And when you're ready, Gently exhale into cat pose. You're going to continue this mindful movement in between cat and cow for a few moments. As you do so, be mindful of your breathing. Make sure you are breathing into your diaphragm, allowing it to expand and when you exhale, Allow it to contract and bring your belly inwards towards your spine. As you breathe, imagine yourself inhaling peace and exhaling all the noise.
Return to a neutral position. Widen your knees with your big toes touching one another. And gently place yourself back into a child's pose. And smile for me. <laughs> gently bring your forehead to the mat. You can massage your forehead, gently swaying it from side to side, or you can just find stillness and lengthen your arms out in front of you and reach as far as you can. Make sure this is comfortable for you. You don't want to strain any of your joints, limbs, or muscles. You are relaxing yourself and clearing your mind. From here, you're going to extend your arms and your body forward, chest still on the ground, into puppy pose. Make sure your hips are aligned with your knees. Feel free to keep your forehead on your mat or you can keep your chin on the mat. If you need to use your yoga blocks, you can place your hands on there for support. If you don't need them, that is fine as well. If you are uncomfortable in this position, you can remain in child's pose. Just a tip to navigate from child's pose to puppy pose, use your core and intentionally to move yourself up. Using your core, bring yourself into all fours and begin to drop your hips from side to side. That's a beautiful stretch right there, you all. And just do this for a few breaths, alternating between your left and right hip.
Bring yourself into a neutral position and then gently take yourself back into a kneeling position, resting on the tops of your feet. Stretching your neck out, bringing it from side to side. Stay here for a couple of breaths or you can come out of your practice. I pray and I trust that your mind is lighter and it's clearer and you have a beautiful day. Namaste.